Yo, what's going on guys? It's CJ and I want to show you Google Maps. Google Maps has a feature where you can report speed traps or locations of where police are. As you saw, it said that there was two reported cases or incidents of a speed trap or a police officer in the area where you saw on the map. So as I was driving, I looked at that, I looked over to my left, and there was a state trooper sitting there on the left. So what this does is it really helps you know when to slow down. Obviously you should be obeying the law and not speeding, but there are instances where state troopers or police officers will ticket you for even going one mile over the speed limit. So use Google Maps as a way to know when to slow down. And another cool feature is that you can report the same thing as well. So in order to report a speed trap or a police officer on the side of the highway or somewhere where you saw one, you're simply going to press the plus icon down below. There's a plus icon under the compass. If you click on the plus, it says you can report a crash, you can report a speed trap, slow down, construction, lane closure, a stalled vehicle, or an object on the road. Google Maps has become the best GPS, the best maps for driving, knowing when things are happening as you're driving. So right now I just saw a vehicle on the road, so I hit adding stalled vehicle, confirm, and now it gets added onto Google Maps automatically. There it is. One reported, click on it, stalled vehicle. I just saw a vehicle on the side of the road there, so it's pretty cool. I really love Google Maps. Waze was the one that really had all this great information and notifications of when things were happening as you're driving on the road. But now Google Maps owns Waze. Google Maps has uh, adopted all the friendly features that Waze has on their app. You know, and the greatest thing about this is that this system, this process of notifications are not just for you, it's also for the officials, the government officials who work in the city or state that you live in. So if you say there's an object on the road or there's a stalled vehicle, you're not only helping other drivers, you're helping the city or state come and clean up the mess or the accident as fast as possible because back in the day, they didn't have this kind of stuff. You know, even when they didn't have cell phones, you know, it would take an hour to come out and pick a mattress up from the highway or um, come to an accident scene. Slowly but surely, police and ambulance have been able to get to scenes faster, but now utilizing systems like this with Google Maps where half a they can mile. easily Keep see, left. Stay on they can go and check right away, they see a notification come up, they can see, okay, there's a stalled vehicle. Okay, there's an accident. Okay, there's a speed trap. What's really nice about Google Maps too is that it also lets you know the speed limit on the highway or road that you're driving on. So it says it's 55 miles an hour right now. 55 going to 65, let's see if it changes. Yep, there it goes, 55, 65. Now there is a lot of construction here. I don't see any construction signs. I'm gonna tap the plus button let people know there's construction going on. Yeah, there it is. Also a good thing because certain states, they have a vehicle with a camera system on it. The vehicle will, it sits there and the speed trap camera just takes pictures of people speeding in construction zones. So you gotta be careful of that as well. With all this technology nowadays, more and more states are adopting ways to find people for speeding without even pulling you over. So, you know, there's gonna be less 
of police officers ticketing you for speeding, and there's going to be more cameras, more tickets, fines going to your house because they took a picture of your license plate, and there's less interaction with the police officers and also less uh, time that those police officers have to spend when they could be spending it on more serious situations. Now, even though I'm placing notifications that there's construction or speed trap, use the trap, right two lanes to take exit vehicle, for a for Delaware one It's not one letting side. people know who I am. It's just simply putting it there on the Google Maps for everyone to see. And if somebody else wants to confirm it as well, you'll see the number increase one, two, three. I've seen use the right two lanes speed to traps take exit where for it a. said like 20. It said there was 20 people that confirmed it because. There was just constantly state trooper sitting on the highway. To be honest, Google Maps has been the, the easiest and freest way to uh, avoid getting a ticket because people like you and I are simply just letting other people know where the police are or where there's a speed trap. Google Maps is free to download, so why go and buy a radar detecting system when you can just download Google Maps for free?